Hello, my friends. Let's practice two more phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs in this video both use the verb run. And both of them have one meaning that is more literal and another meaning that is not so literal. Let's get started with run for. Run for. The past of run is ran. So the past of run for is ran for, ran for. Let's look at the first definition of run for. My friend likes to run for fun. I run for other reasons, but not just for fun. In this case, my friends, think about my friend who likes to run. If she likes to run for fun, the purpose or the reason for her running is enjoyment, for fun. So when you use run for, it means that you are running for a specific purpose. This can look different depending on the situation. Think about a scary movie. Maybe the people are running for their lives. That means they are running for survival to protect their lives. Or sometimes people are running races for reasons like cancer research. So if someone says, I'm running for cancer research, the purpose of the race is to raise money for cancer research. So if you hear run for, it means somebody is doing this action for a specific reason or purpose. The next meaning you hear more in politics. So it is not about running like this. Let's look at another example of run for. Do you think Joe Biden will run for president again in 2024? If you hear run for, and typically after run for, we have um, a government position. So president or Senate, or the House of Representatives. If you hear this, it doesn't mean the president is running. It means trying to be elected to a position. So if someone is running for a position, they want that position and they want people to vote for them. So if you run for something, you are a candidate for that position. And often we use run for for government positions, but not always. It can be for a club or an organization as well. If you want a position and people have to vote for you, you can use run for. Okay, my friends, let's look at a similar verb, but a different preposition. Run into. Run into is the present and ran into is the past. Let's look at the first definition. Uh-oh. <laughs> I ran into the table last week and now I have a bruise on my leg. My friends, we have all done this. If you run into something, whoa, you collide with something. So for example, two cars can run into each other. That means they collided. Two people can run into each other. That can also mean that they collide. Um, a car can run into a person. That also means collide. So it can be a very physical phrasal verb, two things colliding with each other. However, there is another meaning of run into that is not so violent. Let's look at another example. We ran into our friends at Target last week. We hadn't seen them for a while, so I'm glad we could say hello. Sometimes run into with people can be physical, but in this case, it is not 
physical. Here, run into means that they met by chance. They were both at target at the same time, and they were not planning to see each other, but, oh, hey, it was by chance. It was a happy accident that they saw each other. So if two people run into each other at a store or in another public place, it means that they met by chance and it was not planned, but it just happened that they saw each other at the same place. My friends, as always, thank you for watching. Practice, practice and never give up.